Okay, let me just make sure the audio is set as always. Yeah, that stream delay is so much better. Okay. That's a good volume. So it's gonna give it a second for people to show up. Uh, so something I noticed uh, with the last video, because I do tend to go back and watch them every now and then, is that there was a bit of lag, as well as I tend to put the camera a bit too high, so I'm putting it a little lower this time, so I know some people get triggered by the uh, fact that <laughs> you can't see my entire face, so I guess I'll look at this uh, special thanks page for a second. Junky stuff. <laughs> Apparently there's a cat thanks page. Pretty cool. Hi, sir. Hi, Matthew28. You don't usually show up to the streams, but welcome anyway. Uh, so, without further ado, then, I'm doing pretty good, sir. Thank you for asking. Uh, how about you? Without further ado, I'm just gonna try to complete these two nights. Just waiting for uh, Sans' bad time to show up because I know he likes to be here too, so he's generally here as well. Here, sour. So, from what I figure, it's probably good to let the phone guy go at least three times, but then it just gets annoying after that. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, there's less lag now that I updated the software. Or the computer software, I mean, not the game software. I already forgot what I was doing. Okay, yeah, pop Logan. goes. Oh, God, they're moving. You don't say. This guy's been talking way too much. I have a feeling that you might be curious. Am I wrong? Right then. I was born in November 1968 in Texas. Why is he telling me this? Nobody cares. My family, but we weren't exactly rich. My father was an architect at the time, and my mother stayed home with my brother and I. Until the 80s, we lived in a flat. Or I suppose it would have been called an apartment over there. It was pretty decent, I think, but honestly, I can't remember much. I had an accident in my teens. Stuff I. I think I should ask. Is that, is that the sound of the vents? What is that? Okay, the badgers already. Matthew 20, I don't think anybody cares about his apartment, to be very frank with you. Okay, 
me to talk to. And of course, listen to, so go ahead. What do you want to talk about? Uh, what inspired oh, nice. you to start I pizzeria? Like Although my daughter's the only one who actually asked, or has even been oh, given boy. the opportunity. He's got two? When did he get the second oh, one? I've been on a secret. Not a big one, but I think it might be interesting to an outsider. The characters that you see around here weren't originally going to be for a pizzeria. Oh, Crazy, right? They're colorful cartoon animals with pink guitar and yellow eyes. But it's true, they originally had a totally different purpose. I get nightmares pretty easily. Stupid stuff, like going to the zoo or standing on a tall building. I'm going to sleep that night and wake up in a cold sweat from a nightmare about a creepy porcelain doll. It's ridiculous. Anyway, not a lot of medication can help with that kind of thing, so for a I few months... I don't like to hear about your medication, like sir. Like mystic, almost religious kind of solution. It was recommended by a friend I've spoken to online, and it worked, but only once. Okay, just, uh... The idea was that if I designed and created a scarecrow kind of ornament, was entirely designed to fight what I was having nightmares of, oh, and it would appear as nightmares and destroy, in a sense, the fear from its core. So, for example, if I had a nightmare of falling from a great height, then making a model of a trampoline in the real world might help get rid of that fear in the nightmare world, you understand? That is the worst anyway, explanation I I've ever heard. With only one of them actually working. At that time, I heard about this auction thing uh. going on in America. I traveled over there, ended up buying some things, one of which was a hat that used to belong to a famous pizzeria character, which caused a bit of controversy in the area. Yikes. I bought the remains of an old busted robot based the gang around it. And no I need to insult the robot. Parts. I have them here in the attic. Anyways, from there I thought to myself, what if I started my own pizzeria and changed the remaining scarecrows into cartoon animatronics? And well, I did. Of course, since they're garden animals and not actually designed to fight my fear, that, they never that's really the reason? my remaining nightmares. I still have them. The old scarecrow designs were scrapped. Can't remember what I did with them. Oh, did I Quite just story, miss huh? them? Hope it was interesting. See you tomorrow. I think they got in. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm dead already. <laughs> oh boy. I literally just missed them. What happens if I look back? I've never tried that. I'm assuming the shadow robot kills me, right? Oh. Maybe it's Pop Goes. This is at the bite of 87. <laughs> So, apparently this guy started an entire pizzeria chain just because he had nightmares. <laughs> Interesting. Oh boy. Hello again. I've decided to take some breaks between recording these calls. Not many are left, but still, I didn't think it would be this stressful. I've just got some notes, not a script or anything. I feel like I might be talking too much about things that are obvious for you, so I'm just going to wing this one. I think at this point, you must be pretty confident with your job now, if you can even call it that. I think now might be a good time for you to know a little more about me. I have a feeling that you might be curious. Am I wrong? Right then. I was born in November 1968 in Texas, lived a fine life. Okay, I don't want to hear about your fine life, bro. My father was an architect at the time, and my mother stayed home with my brother and I. Until the 80s, we lived in a flat, or I suppose it would have been called an apartment over there. It was pretty decent, I think, but honestly, I can't remember much. No, I had an accident in my teens, stuff I really don't want to talk about. Please don't ask. I really should I ask him about his accident. <laughs> Maybe that'll get him anyway, to shut up. Survived the injury, believe it or not. It was all down to a very generous donor of blood. The whole thing was pretty strange and vague for us, and all I know is a small green. team of people. Maybe right, that's not right. Green. Why does green look like blue? And after an entire encyclopedia of science papers, the transfusion was allowed on behalf of the procedure being an experiment. I was close to death, bear in mind. I lost most of my memory from before the incident, and the whole event caused a huge stir in the media. I was 18, and with the state I was in, paparazzi wasn't the best treatment. Yeah. You know? So 
I've sorted out something with my parents and we moved here to England. So, uh, hopefully on top of being a security guard, you can be a friend too. I wanted to get some of these stories off my chest. I really don't want to be this guy's friend. He houses murder animatronics. What else had you made? Well, this recording system is over five hours left on it. Does this guy in the background actually have a purpose? Matthew 28? I don't know. <laughs> I think he's supposed to tell me what I'm supposed to do, but he's not very helpful. That's not red. Okay. Okay, that's the wrong button. Gosh, Why is the oh, yeah, name of his daughter the same as the rabbit? He's got one piece that's not so bad. Well, at least he's done talking. Guy talks for a literal hour. for that and it's really annoying. That's oh boy, where are they at? Why is it always the last one I check? There we go. already got another yeah there he is <laughs> service always with the snacks I'm afraid if I fail this night I'm gonna be the snack oh okay they did move when <sighs> the snack <laughs> Badger is definitely a little more active. What one is he in? Should keep a lookout on one then. I stare at them, do they will they go away? <laughs> okay. Oh gosh dang. I, I was hoping 
if I was staring long enough, maybe they'd just get scared or something. I don't know. I don't know what the point of that is. Now I gotta listen to this guy at least one more time, I guess. Oh boy. Listen to his apartment in the flats. This guy's stressed about taking a phone call. Why wouldn't you call this a job? I'm certainly not working for free. about his accident in the later call. Maybe night five. to just do jobs for him. Anyway, hope that cleared it up. Good question. See you tomorrow. Does he already have another part? Have a stroke. Donut. <laughs> Did he get another one? Wait, oh, he's already got three. This is not good. There's only five rooms he can go into to get the parts, so it does make it a bit easier. Oh, come on, how? What? I, I think it's always just going to be the squirrels that kill me, honestly.
I'm wondering if the jump scares are even real, or it's just a result of the panic being so high. Because the real question is, is this actually a real jump scare? Like, is this possible? I don't feel like that would actually happen. <laughs> I think that's just a panic attack. Yeah, I just gotta pay more attention to the squirrels. That's that's the thing that's always been killing me. I died to Popko's shadow thing once at least, I guess. Not gonna listen to you anymore. Can you sh stop ringing my Logan. phone? Okay, they're just heading out now. I think eventually I'll get used to which door he's going for and which is which. Crawling into vents now. Yeah, that definitely helps just memorizing. Still crawling on the ground like worms. I actually need to be on the camera. Yeah, I don't need to actually be on the camera to call him. Like... Yeah, I already got one. I need to find the squirrels. <laughs> I can risk him getting a piece. I can't risk the squirrels getting through the Vent lasers. Which is still a term for some reason. At least he takes a pretty significant amount of time to actually place the part behind me. Oh, the badger's getting real low. Oh, shoot. Is that what does that? Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Once once the badgers... If, the, if you don't play games with the badger, the power just goes out. Well, I... At least you don't have to stay on the screen to do the badgers, that's nice. It's also a lot easier when he doesn't choose red. So I think I made it to 3 o'clock so far. It's not too
too bad. Okay, they're still getting in the vents. I still have some time. Oh. Where did he? Okay. I swear sometimes he can be standing in the same spot and just go to different locations. At least I get, have a general idea of what's going on now. Yeah, he keeps going back to the same spot. Interesting. Did I lose him? Oh. Yellow. This is yellow. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah, he moves real fast. Yeah, I lower my panic quick. Which one is that? Oh, I just realized the weird sign bird actually makes it so I can't even tell that he's there. That's interesting. He's coming in. He's going to the right. What does he want? He wants green. No green. Okay. God, get off of my screen. Oh, he's got one. Thirty minutes, yeah, not too bad. I'm giving it all she's got. Okay, where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'm getting close. Where's he?
not so bad. Let's go. Uh, he's here. Let's go to the right. I think he is anyway. Only two more hours to go. I think I got it this time, honestly. I got that. Okay, what's your yellow? <laughs> One more hour, we got this, we got this. Badger might come through anymore. Yeah, we definitely got it this time. Is coming through though. They're in seven. Okay. Okay, Badger's back. What do you want? Red, okay. Okay, there we go, not so bad. Five is gonna be rough, because that, that took quite a bit. <laughs> okay, so, as you guys probably know, it's mini game time. Um, actually, I have to go to the bathroom quick, so I'm just going to on the delay screen quick and I will be right back in a second so don't wait up too long for me guys just be like two minutes
Okay, I'm back guys, sorry for the delay. Let me just make sure the stream is up, and then I'll get right into it. So we are currently playing the mini game for Night 4 as Blake the Badger. So I'm going to try to find that wacky easter egg, and then we're probably going to see something that'll give us nightmares. <laughs> okay. I'm already hearing some weird noises. I enjoy spastically moving the keys way too much. Okay, let's try left. This was Balloon Boy's area. Nothing there. Whoop. Wub indeed sour. Okay, we can't do this one. This might be it though. There's Diamond Crow or whatever. Is this the Mangles room? Oh, here we go. I hope you guys are ready. Oh god, what? What is this supposed to be? Were, were they extracting blood into the animatronics? Well, that was unpleasant. <laughs> Okay, well I guess we need to go back and find Mangle. Mangle's usually strong up though, so I guess this one shouldn't look as weird as the other ones. Also, where are we exactly that this is happening? Are we in the pizzeria? I mean on the minigame map? Yeah, I'm hearing bad sounds, let's have a look. Okay, it's in this next room for sure. <sighs> Deep breath, and... Yeah, Mangle actually kind of usually looks like that. Still not pleasant, but not as disturbing as the other ones. Can I go back? I can actually go back. I guess I need... Yeah, okay, there we go. Well, we're hopping right into the fifth night. And then I will probably finish the stream once I finish this night, so. Okay, just gotta hop right back into it. Yeah, they're moving kinda quick already. Nice work, kid. Only a few days left of your shift. Maybe if you're super good, I'll let you mess around in my office, try out some of Weaselware's features. I don't want to mess around in the office. Control the gang, see what they can do. I don't know, maybe not. We'll see. I'm wondering, since I can't remember how much I've taught you up to this point, do you know about Freddy Fazbear's Pizza? I do. I think these calls might be getting to my head, but I don't know. I'm that sticky? Stop, stop the black rabbit. So. Yeah, that's a good I'm piece of advice. Scary, so just, I'm not sure. It's like some pieces are being put together. Freddy Fazbear. You know they used to say those characters were haunted. Were some murders related to the location back in the 80s. People found some corpses buried in the animatronic suits. Really sad. I was a fan of that franchise, named my kid after one of the characters there. Not yeah, because Bonnie. I was a fan, really, but because, well, because I wanted to love that name again. After, you know, it doesn't matter. I was a fan of the restaurant, and it hurt to see it fall so morbidly, that's all. I wonder sometimes if there was some kind of moral reasoning behind whoever killed Okay, them. got it. I have my own suspicions as to hundreds of other people, you know. You should see what these people put online. There's a popular yeah, I'm about theory to have a stroke. guy who did it had purple skin. Totally purple skin and purple clothes. Sounds like a demon or something, right? Something paranormal, I don't know. But around that time was when I got help from someone. Oh hospital. god, I just missed them. I yeah. just missed don't them. Know where the blood came from. It's all am I am I good still? Oh, they're, they're actually not killing me yet. It's 
Hi, Caesar Orozco. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, if you're new here, thank you for showing. I didn't even see, but I clicked. Uh, yeah, he's got one part, not so bad. It's a little hard to focus on chat with this game, especially like this. I can prolong my death, but unless it gets to like... <sighs> Whoa. That's never happened before. Can I not look at that? <laughs> Jeez. That was rough. <laughs> yeah, just gotta be a bit faster, but still not too bad. Hopefully I can click the right um, response for the phone guy this time. Not the same one I already did. Okay, he's already... they're already leaving. Nice work, kid. Only a few days left of your shift. Maybe if you're super good, I'll let you mess around in my office, try out some of Weaselware's features. If it's not that exciting, you might be able to control the gang, see what they can do. I don't know, maybe not. We'll see. I'm wondering, since I can't remember how much I've taught you up to this point, do you know about Freddy Fazbear's Pizza? I think these calls might be getting to my head, but I don't know. I've been thinking of that place a lot more than usual for the past hour. I think hours, you already so got it. Not in a disturbing or scary sense, just... I'm not sure, it's like some pieces are being put together. Freddy yeah. You know they used to say those characters were Oh god, why? What? That just happens now? That's awful. that what the easter egg was they don't know where the blood what came from that blood came it's from the animatronics the maybe what is oh, weasel right. wear I forgot to talk about one of the most important things that keeps this place running yeah that seems so, important weasel wear is an operating system a game created by myself it's a very simple very nifty system it links almost all of the machines in this place. If you have access to it, you can control almost every function of other things wirelessly. Cameras, vents, printers, even Pop goes himself. It's a reprogrammed version of something else I used to work on. It does sound pretty Actually, impressive, I actually. Track investigations of DNA around the world. I made it to find one person in particular, and I mean, it worked. Anyway, that turned out to be illegal, which 
understand, but thankfully I wasn't there. What? Me to stop using it. So yeah, I was you used it to, to track system. someone? And of course, in its current state, there are some locked features. I can't let a kid mess around with one of the characters. I'm the only one who gets full access. But again, if you show substantial effort, maybe I'll give you some more freedom to mess around with I really friends. don't want to mess around with the robots. <laughs> A flip, I'm a... Guys, what is that? What is what was that? What what what? Am I dead? I'm dead already. What what is happening? Where are they? If I'm not dead, where are they? What is that green thing? What was that? It, it totally threw me off. <laughs> I saw I needed to put in pink, and I forgot. But also, I couldn't find the squirrels, so I thought I was already dead. I don't know if the squirrels can ever not be an event once they enter them, so... Maybe they just went somewhere else. <laughs> Hi, Sans Bad Time. I made it to. Oh god, I made it to night five. Nice work, god, go away, what are you? That raises my panic so much. Sans, bad time, don't worry, you're not too late. I'm wondering, since I can't remember how much I've taught you up to this point, do you know about Freddy Fazbear's Pizza? I think these calls might be getting to my head, but I don't know. I've been thinking of that place a lot more than usual for the past hour or so. Not in a disturbing or scary sense, just... I'm not sure, it's like some pieces are being put together. Freddy Fazbear, you know they used to say those characters were haunted. There were some murders related to the location back in the 80s found some corpses buried in the animatronic suits. Really sad. I was a fan of that franchise, named my kid after one of the characters there. Not because I was a fan, really, but because... Well, because I wanted to love that name again. Where are they? After, you know, it doesn't matter. I was a fan of the restaurant, and it hurt to see it fall so morbidly, that's all. I wonder sometimes if there was some kind of moral reasoning... Behind there they are. Those kids. Oh boy, green, I have my own green. As to hundreds oh. of other people. Yeah, he got a part, but at least I'm not dead. There's a popular theory going around that the guy who did it had purple skin. Totally purple skin and purple clothes. Sounds like a demon or something, right? Something paranormal. I don't know. But around that time was when I got help from someone in the hospital. We, uh, don't know where the blood came from. It's all... That did just move. Of course they did. What if it was him? Learn one. Times like these when the nightmares sometimes visit me during the day. Ask me a question then. You might calm me down. Oh, people about online, the murdered people? Well, the whole series of events has become a big topic of already... discussion for people interested in that kind of thing. Real life mysteries and stuff. The murders of Freddy Fazbear. Now they're there. Is such a diverse and confusing and he got another the part. People are still finding clues and making stories about it to this day. Now even an amusement park attraction was centered around it. The they're moving so fast. He's telling the FNAF story, I One think. Is crazy, I know, but 20 is just... Why? There has to be a reason for that, more than he was a mental patient. Also, yeah, they thought he was purple. Someone found a drawing that a child had done while at one of the pizzerias that showed a purple figure in the background. I'm pretty sure that was the only evidence for that, but it's enough for me. And, uh, you know, the rest of the theorists. I really don't doubt too deep. Yeah, I, I think he got one. Okay, he just well, got three. See you again tomorrow. Gosh 
darn you pup goes. What is that? Literally, just what is that? Is that supposed to raise my panic as well? I don't see them anywhere. Are they already in? Yeah, well, okay. Well, I tried. Well, at least I can turn off the phone guy now. I just gotta focus, you know? Also, I'm noticing that it says Mems <laughs> underscore Saffron or whoever killed you is the name of the character in the air screen. Which is interesting. Complete and utter silence. Symphony to the ears. I was pretty sure that was the one. Yeah. Here they come. to one of the right rooms. Red. She's going right. basically memorize the doors Pop goes, goes through at this point if you're wondering how I can tell at this point. He got one. It's not so bad. <sighs> I feel like of all the animatronics to kill you, Pop Goes is definitely the least likely. Okay, he's already coming back. There he is. I'm gonna get off of my screen. I don't know what you even are. I'm guessing that's just like a consistent Easter egg on this night or something. I'm 
No, God. Why? Is that the wrong one? I, oh gosh darn it. Yeah, you got another one. Crow panic, I couldn't help it. <laughs> got a good old case of the crow hysteria. At least it takes him like 10 seconds to come back and forth. That's nice. Come on, tell me quick, tell me quick. What do you want, buddy? Pink. Just in time. 32. We got four more hours to go. You guys can hear me spam clicking. <laughs> I'm assuming the answer is yes. Sorry, I can't look at chat, but I am ultra focused right now. I'm in the zone. I think if you're really quick on the squirrels, they pretty much don't move at all, and that's extremely beneficial. Also, I don't know if there's a certain path the squirrels need to follow, so that might be why they can't go through. One hour, I think I got it, guys. 
Let's go. It's gonna be like 10 seconds left. There's no way I don't make it. Eat my vent lasers. Let's go. I don't know <laughs> if um, it jumps right into like a 6th or 7th night, but I think I'm just going to end it here, so that was about a solid hour. Oh, we're playing as Pop Goes now. <laughs> Boy, those teeth, though. Okay. It's, it's literally like Freddy, but with buck teeth. Yeah, I guess I always start with left, right, and then up. I don't know if it matters, but I'm assuming I still can't go past either of these points. So we've been in Balloon Boy, we've been with Foxy, I think we've been with Freddy, it's been five so far, I can't even remember them all, yeah, I can't go any further. I think, yeah, Chica was one of them, Mangle, I don't know that we've seen Bonnie yet. Maybe the ghost bunny. We've seen a lot of diamond crows. That's interesting. And yeah, maybe this is it. Can we get that Easter egg? Because he was talking about his daughter Bonnie. Nope, still not that one. Okay, they're probably saving Bonnie for last, I guess. Because this is his daughter. Ooh, what is this? Do I? Oh dear. Okay, guys, get ready. Here it is. Ew. This, but that's FNAF, isn't it? Because that's the crying child that got bit, and that's his father who created the animatronics watching him. Sad that he couldn't stop it. It seems like it's telling a lot of the FNAF lore, which is not something I expected. But very interesting and cool that it's related. Okay, I I don't think the paper pals counts as an animatronic, so I have no idea what's gonna be in this room. Wait, is it is it Shadow Bonnie? Is that what it is? Cause that's kinda what it looks like. I don't know what's going to happen, but when I walk through this door, something very interesting is going to happen, okay? I hope you guys are ready. Huh? Usually there's some kind of weird hung up monster by this point. Can't... Okay, maybe through this door. It looks like it's got to be Bonnie or something. It's got to be some type of Bonnie. Hope you guys are ready. Okay, now for sure it's got to be through this door. <laughs> it's four doors, guys. They can't, they can't um, fool us this time for sure. Okay, three, two, one. 
Here we go. There he is. Why is he... Yeah, it looks like there's some of their parts were stripped and they're hung up on these chains. So, hopefully you guys got a good look and... Just gonna end it here. I can't... I'm assuming I can't save them unless that's just what's happening when it goes off screen. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the question is, do you guys want me to keep going or should I end it here and go for the harder nights next week? That's the question. What is that? Is that crow? Why does it look so creepy? Is this squirrel sisters? Oh, yeah, they're moving fast. He's already there. I mean, I guess I can keep going. I'll try at least. Are you okay, bro? This is a recording. How can I answer your question? <laughs> about himself is he I have no idea what you're talking about bro yes god no gosh darn it <laughs> he's gonna let him get apart because he's annoying Oh, so, yeah, Michael, you want me to keep playing? I'm gonna try. Um, oh, shoot, they're already moving. There they are. I'm playing Pop Goes Weaselware. God, I am so... It's so hard to read comments. Okay, why? Get off screen. <laughs> Forever. What color? Blue. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I can't see anything. Where'd he go? I can't tell where he got apart. It doesn't matter. What color was it? I'm. I think I'm. I forgot what color. It was blue, wasn't it? <laughs> Gosh darn it! Yeah, this this is gonna be tougher. I still think I can get it, but if phone guy. <laughs> So, weirdly enough, I can actually answer the recorded message. I'm gonna mute him now because he's extremely annoying, <laughs> but interesting. Yeah, so I'll, I'll try to go for another 30 minutes at least, I guess. I don't see why not. Maybe I'll save night 7 for next week then. Hopefully I can get this. Can you just... No, just be gone. <laughs> I mean, this literally should just be a faster version of Night 5, right? I don't think there's any new mechanics added, just more difficult. They're in the vents now. I'll try to keep them on six if I can. <laughs> Did the is that heating going out faster? I feel like it is.
Oh god. Ah, did, uh, that that jump scare scares me more than the actual jump scares in this game, to be completely honest with you. And it's horrible because the longer you stare at it, the more of a chance it's gonna happen. And the more it happens, the more you need to stare at it. I don't know if you got that. I think I got him in time, hopefully. Got it too late, never mind. Dang, stone and these diamonds not making sense. <laughs> Kyle? Hey, yeah, Kyle, I'm I'm sorry to anyone in chat. I'm trying to look, but there's just so much going on. Like I just have to focus if I wanna actually get this. I can definitely respond when I'm about to die, so you know, that's nice. <laughs> also, I'm just realizing the green square in the corner is probably the amount of power I have, because that would make sense. Oh god, I looked at the wrong one. He's only got two, that's not so bad. I might as well spend my time on the badger while he's putting the part back. He's already back. It's 2 a.m. I'm doing pretty decent. got a quality FNAF game <laughs> when your non jump scares are scarier than the actual game. so hard I can't even tell if I'm doing the Simon Says. I hate you so much. I don't even understand why the window is calming in the first place. It's just a nightmare. I'm running out of time. Blue. I'm 
I've still got the squirrels right where I want them. <sighs> 4 a.m. Only two more hours, guys. We can do this. They're not there. Where are they? They're in two. That's not good. I miss them. I don't even. They're in five. If they get to seven, is that when they kill me? Okay, yeah, I'm messing up a bit now. Okay, yeah. If I can keep them from seven, I think I'll live. I just really gotta pay attention to seven now. Yeah, because it seems like they go from six and then they make a loop to seven. Okay, he's back. I don't know how many parts he has and frankly, I'm not sure I care at this point. So I've only got two hours. Blake is back. I think I got him. He's close, he is close. If I don't let him get the last part, I'll be fine. He needs to keep coming back to one. That's good. No, three. He needs to come to three. Oh God. Are they... Are they... Ah, oh, I'm so close though, I'm so close. If I can just... No, come on, please. I'm so close. If I can just... No, God. I was really hoping. <sighs> so close. At least I know how the squirrels work now. <laughs> More snacks, thanks Kel for trying to tell me. Oh, jeez. Okay, this time, this time for sure. Now that I know how the scrolls work, at least I will know where they are. Because once they, once they get to seven, you're very screwed. Okay. Be gone, demon. Can I, can I pray the crow away? Is that an option? Yeah, night, night six. I almost made it so close. <laughs> I just let the squirrels get a bit too far. Hey, uh, Would you no? Just no. Okay, squirrels are coming in. Okay, they're almost in. Once they get in, I just need to block six. There we go, okay. Easy peasy. Okay, Badger Man. Blue. They already got through one of the vents. It's fine. Try him. I think. Yeah, I got him. I'm getting a pretty good feel for the game. 
at this point. I just, I think I'm focusing too much on pop goes is the issue. I feel like this squirrel's getting through is a fate worse than Pop goes. So once the squirrels are through, you're just very dead. Must have got one already. Yeah, there he is. on the move. Blue. Okay. Oh god, why? Yeah, he must have already got another one. Too much panic. Got like th yeah three. That's not so bad. Two more hours away this time for sure. I'm really feeling it this time.
He's about to blue. guys for sure this time gets apart that's fine how many does he have yeah you could still risk two more I'm fine There's night seven, it's gonna be astonishing, I can already tell. sweaty over here. <laughs> Wait, what? Is this really the end? <laughs> Walk-in drive-thru. Saffron, Sally, Blake, Pop Goes, Crow, and Diamond Crow. So did I find the truth, though? Be in the game as a token or appreciate or letting you check out some extras. Okay, so we did unlock custom night though. Mini game map. Okay. GG's guys. We completed the main game. I know that there's a second star though that it has to be for custom night. Let me just let's have a look at these extras. <laughs> So Pop goes the weasel, who is a least weasel, whatever the heck that means. Pa power color? What the heck is power color? Pop goes the weasel is the singer and leader of the Pop goes pizzeria band. Is designed by the least weasel. Oh, okay, I guess that's what that means. His hat was purchased from an auction and originally belonged to Freddy Fazbear. Now that is interesting. Difficult mode reward. What is difficult mode? Oh, do I have to like beat 202020 20, mode or something to see something special? The European Badger. Is the mechanic and helper. Design is by the European Badger. His palms have magnetic pads that help him hold phones and do other things. Okay. Sarah is the bassist of the Pop Goes Pizzeria bands. She didn't directly connect 
did to Weasel where but well, hope Pop goes out on Tess, he is set Gray Squirrel. <laughs> Red Squirrel. It's cursed of the bands. Her programming has forced her to become an almost exact copy of her sister. Interesting. This thing is horrifying. <laughs> the carry on crow. Stone the Crow is a sign holder who stays outside the pizzeria. His design is just Karen Crow isn't connected to anything at all. If you see him moving, you're hallucinating. That's what I was saying. There's no way he would jump through the window and murder you. That doesn't make sense. Ew. Black Rabbit is a collection of six black plastic body parts. Their parts are untreated and unwanted unaided causing them to crumble to powder overnight pop goes will try to build black rabbit no matter what find out why do i have to click on or something i never played as the black rabbit i don't i don't know what that means <laughs> crow v like I agree, Crow is horrifying. Yeah. Ooh. I can't even click on this one. Or this one. Or this one. Gem. So he's made of gems. Doesn't make any sense, but it exists. So I'm missing four? That is interesting. Oh, I'm guessing this is what it was based off of, and then it became this. This looks nothing like this in my opinion, but whatever. <laughs> Are Stone and Blake based off of the same thing or something? You can't tell me this one right here is not Sandy Cheeks, like come on. <laughs> it looks so much like it. Why does gemstone exist? That's what I don't understand. I asked him how he could afford all this and I forgot what his answer was. <laughs> okay, so... Does the black rabbit remind you of the secret ending to the Popko's arcade? Yeah, he... like... escaped... or something? I'm not exactly sure, but I do remember <laughs> a very bad ending. So I'm noticing that it says that each character has like a power color or something, and that this map has colors on it, so I don't know if that means anything. I'm sure it means something. I'm not even sure you can use the right button. Oh, go to security cameras. Infrared blinker. What's the infrared blinker? The birthday room. Oh, it was based off of the original FNAF locations, maybe? The birthday room, at least. Miscellaneous props. I think that's about all there is for that. Oh god, there, you mean there could have been more? <laughs> Morris the Mole was one of the four pizzeria animatronics from the original concept. He was going to bury under the restaurant's floorboards and probably rip up wires or something. He was removed due to conflict with the lure. Is it because there's already an original, um, what's his name? Who's the original mole from FNAF? Might not, no, it wasn't a mole, it was, um, what was it? It was, it wasn't an otter. It's, th it's the ones that build dams, I'm trying to remember. He, he looks a lot like that. He's removed to the conflict lure also because he looked incredibly stupid. <laughs> However, some developers tried to keep his legacy alive by making joke, artwork, and models. Morse was replaced by both Stone and Blake. Both actually have eye colors which when mixed together from 
the color of Morse's. Okay. Kane also hates the mention of him. I'm guessing Kane was one of the developers. Encore. Summer 2015 concepts of a sequel of Pop Goes were made called Pop Goes Encore. The lore and game mechanics were discussed based on the state of the lore in the first game at the time of discussion. Concepts. Encore will never happen. <laughs> yeah, why did the mole have wings? Hang on, can we just take a moment to appreciate whatever this is? Like, Morse with wings and a laser arm? <laughs> also, some of this is just terrifying. This doesn't look so bad, but the rest of this is awful. Okay. Pop Goes the Plastic Grave. So Pop Goes has a huge story. Almost everything means something or has an explanation through metaphors. Symbolism or blatant hints through phone calls and whatnot. However, it was decided a few weeks before Christmas 2015 that the story is getting too big to just be in a game. Inspired by the Silver Eyes, the books, I'm assuming, a few members of the Pop Goes team started working on a new project called The Plastic Grave. So it has its own book series? Designed to explain concepts that were otherwise confusing. Fortunately, the amount of artwork needed and the thought of practically spoiling the story's secret to such a blunt manner turned us off the idea. Okay, so it doesn't have a book series. It was cancelled, we tried to execute it as a novel, but that didn't work. Instead, we tried our hardest to put everything necessary and clear and understanding for theorizing in the game. Well, there's definitely a lot here, but I don't know how to put it together. No, I'm no theorist. We've tried to pack this game full of easter eggs as ammunition for the theories people will hopefully come up with as they play it. Look through the game files, which you shouldn't. However, the story has changed over time for the game, and we've made it clear that the easter egg should always help with solving it. Okay. Yeah, I've seen a lot of FNAF characters randomly pop up in some kind of green giant animatronic in the middle of the screen. Therefore, some easter eggs have been scrapped because they no longer help with the lore, or in some cases actually make it even more confusing, I'd definitely say so. Here are those easter eggs. There were some more, but we lost them, apparently. Five Nights at Candy's promo. Yeah, that wouldn't make sense. Five Nights at Fredbear's promo also wouldn't really make a lot of sense. And then Balloon Boy's that animatronic. Is that is that one of the reasons why you would look up at that vent? Because other than just knowing you're going to die, that doesn't really help all that much. There was no reason for me to look up the entire game unless one of these special knights has a reason. You'll notice that the Pop Goes minigames have a very similar style of minigames that you see once you beat the knight in the third five nights at Freddy's games, yeah. Despite what some people might be saying, this is actually a design choice and not something we relied on because we're unoriginal. If you pay attention to the story, you'll know why the minigame sprites look so similar. I suppose. On top of this, we actually made other props for the game that are clearly influenced from props from FNAF 3. They are scrapped because it seemed too cheap and boring. Yeah, this just it looks really similar. Before we settled on a Weaselware themed menu for the game, we had an idea that basically went, what if the menu was an actual menu? Okay. We ended up designing, modeling, and animating a full paper styled restaurant menu. Fortunately, the credits had to be constantly updated and having to make a model every time a person joined was super inefficient. It looks cool though. Man, it does look nice, I can admit that. Oh, that looks way different. We went through plenty of different minigame ideas for Pop Goes, all of which were explicitly designed to be similar to the ones that you play once you beat a knight in FNAF 3. Before we settled with the current style and gameplay for the minigames, we had an idea that you played as Fritz, building the animatronics present in the pizzeria. You'd go near the printers in the corners of the room, wait for them to finish building the character in the middle, and then give them their respective props. It was super boring, repetitive, and really didn't tell the player much about the story other than the fact that the animatronics are made out of 3D printed parts. That's all of them? I guess that's interesting. So we changed them, and now the minigames tell a very important story. And... Well, they're all chained up. I don't know how 
or what that means, but it's something. More snacks. <laughs> Think about it. They're gonna remake the fan game this year. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know how much more there is to add though. I mean I guess they could add all of this stuff, but it wouldn't mean a whole lot to the story, I guess. The panic eye. Pogos has a pretty simple mechanic called panic. Panic is a variable that goes up as you play the game, but also goes down if the player does some specific things. Like what? If the panic reaches 100, I know this is the window, is that the only thing? If the panic reaches 100%, the player will die from a panic attack, which is a game ender in the form of an animatronic, not black rabbit jump scare. The frequency of stone and crow's camera appearances also increases the panic goes up. Yeah, that makes sense. In the game, the ways to determine whether your panic is high or low is through audio cues. I didn't know that. To the frequency of stone the crow's appearances, that's obvious, in the course of the panic bar and left of the screen. However, there is also a planned feature of an eye symbol to pair with the bar. This eye would show whether the panic of the player was going up and down. It also blinked to refresh the screen and update the animatronics placements in the pizzeria. Fortunately, it was agreed that the eye on the top of the bar made the game too easy. It also ended up conflicting with the lore. How does an eyeball conflict with the lore? How, how deep did they go into this? Um. What is this? Wait, is this one of those secrets? I don't have to click on it, do I? It's so... Weird. Why? Why is this a thing? Okay. I don't think I can physically do anything with this. Is this space? Type the word face. <laughs> what is this? Is this just one of those like troll things? I don't know. I stare at it really hard. Okay. Anyway. Oh, yeah, I guess this would help, wouldn't it? So I'm noticing that there's this top area. Yeah, there's a few areas that you just never go into. So it was Balloon Boy, Mangle, Chica, Freddy, and Bonnie. It's like the whole. Where's Foxy though? We didn't see Foxy. So it's basically almost the entire main cast. <laughs> so Stone the Balloon Boy. Does the colors mean anything? There's, there's a bunch of. It says it's really important to the lore, but I don't know what it means. <laughs> yeah, I could already look at the credits. Let me just see what. Oh boy. <laughs> Super easy. <laughs> Wait, let me just go back because it said there were specific rewards. FNAF 2 Foxy. Oh, well, that's a fair point. Yeah, I guess it. Because it did show the hook when I went to Mangle. That, that's a fair point. Sans bad time. Yeah, so here. So difficult mode reward. Moderates average super easy so there is a super easy reward so guys you know what that means it's time to beat super easy mode <laughs> i might as well just do that now right so there's easy medium hard and extreme is it just those four ranges let me just look quick uh, you know, super easy average moderate difficult Super easy, average, moderate, difficult. Super easy, average, moderate, difficult. Okay, so I get four rewards for doing each of these, and then impossible. I don't know what that unlocks. I'm assuming it's something important. Wait, can I click on the stars? At okay, sometimes they do that as an Easter egg too. Got to check all my bases. I should be able to complete this in like no time, guys. So don't even worry about this. Get a good, decent two-hour stream. Ooh, another question. Is there going to be a phone call? I don't think so. 
This should be really easy. Also, there's only four characters, I guess. This is gonna feel so easy compared to what I just did. What's the next fan game I'll be playing? I've had quite a few people say Five Nights at Candy's 3, so... Unless you have any other suggestions, sans bad time, I know I can always take your word for a good game, so... It's either that or anything you have to suggest. I can't guarantee that I'll hop right into it after this one, because I've been playing a lot of FNAF games, but... You know... We'll, we'll see. I do really enjoy the stories of these. It's usually always interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad Stone the Crows turned down. That whole head turn thing is obscenely annoying. And the squirrels aren't even off the stage. Oh, there they go. Okay, never mind. Okay, he's already... Doing something. <laughs> yeah, they move real slow. I mean, are they still? Wow, they're still at the door, man. <laughs> this is insane. Yeah, Joy of Creation, that's a good point. I said I'd do Joy of Creation. Now, now that I'm at 170 subscribers and I'm getting a moderate amount of people viewing these streams, I think I might be willing to do Joy of Creation. Maybe not next, but... Maybe after uh, Five Nights at Candy's 3. Are they still at the door? Okay, they got through the door. <laughs> yeah, this is undoubtedly uh, very easy, <laughs> as it says. Yeah, Five Nights at Candy's 3 and Drive Creation, that's what I'm thinking, sounds bad time. I don't know if I'm going to play any other games in between. It depends on what I um, what I'm feeling, and just what people are asking for. Because I do have other requests. It's definitely not as much as these games, though. Because people generally seem to enjoy these a lot, and I sometimes tend to make them look easy. But I also put in a lot of effort to memorize the gameplay, so I understand what the heck is going on. And they take so long. <laughs> Just to get through. After Joy Creation, there's no more games for the Fazbear Initiative, so I'm gonna start suggesting some other fan games that are lesser known. That's fair. I can dig that. <laughs> Sorry, th this one screen is just so silly to look at. turn up stone the crow's difficulty i'm wondering if that also affects his ability to show up as a sign and his ability to turn his head but that also begs the question it says if i see him move it's a hallucination but if my panic isn't that high what's causing it Like the badger for three is pretty darn active. <laughs> and I'm definitely gonna start by my two personal favorite fan games. Are they like troll games or something, Sans? Seem a bit excited there. <laughs> okay, I think they're finally they're finally through.
Yeah, it's already three. I'm I'm, I'm gonna be done with this in no time. I consider doing one more just because these are the easy nights. Imagine the last one is the only one that could possibly be harder than night six. <laughs> They're very good. <laughs> okay. I was just questioning because of the emoji you chose. <laughs> Maybe they deserve some credit, then. Try to do my give them a decent review, I guess, you know? Yeah, this is so chill compared to Night 6. How can you go from Night 6 to this? It's insane. And I'm assuming that they want you to play through every single difficulty, because if I beat impossible, I don't know if it'll unlock this, so might as well just do them all, you know. One thing I do wish you could do is maybe use the keyboard to actually move the camera because whenever Pop goes goes to the right on camera 4 sometimes you just can't see him. I mean I, you can always guess he's there but it's a little annoying. We're gonna fall asleep playing this. <laughs> what time is it? 4 a.m. Like the badger, give me a challenge, my guy. Red. Let me just see if I can. It's so hard to hit that button. Yeah, I don't think you actually can. They still have not moved. Oh my god. <laughs> All I'm hearing is the buttons. Yeah. Me slowly dying inside as I proceed to turn on the vent lasers. <laughs> Just realizing, I, I sir, the night should be called Turtle Speed. Yeah, the night's called Good Night, which is weird. But I'm, I'm wondering if, if Impossible Mode is gonna be called Bad Night or something, or maybe it's just gonna be called Impossible Night. You know. Imagine actually dying on this night <laughs> after beating night six. That'd be super embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even seen Crow. That's that's just how slow this is. Time no, I don't know if there's a mini game after this. I think there is, and I think that's what I unlock. Okay, let's have a look. See, oh, there, there is. No, mm, I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> Get this jazzy music.
Okay, that was it. Let's see what we unlocked. And we got a silver statue of Saffron? I mean, <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be expecting too much, to be fair. I didn't really do all that much either. Okay, this is impossible. I really don't want to see what they have in mind for stone. I'm guessing it's diamond stone I don't, or gemstone. I don't know what else it would be. I don't even know how to unlock these or if they even exist. Yeah, gemstone wants me to find the truth. So let me go beat whatever the next difficulty is. It shouldn't be too hard. Average mode. It's literally only two up from what it was. And you know, moderate probably gonna be difficult. Difficult's actually gonna be difficult. It's probably like night six difficult and then I don't even wanna know what this is. Average. Still called the good night. Oh, that's nice. You actually get to see them in the room. I, I take it back. That's pretty cool. Okay. You get new statues. I, I can dig that while wow, he's already there. That's a bit faster. I'm not too worried. It's only an increase of two. I feel like I'm still trying too hard. This isn't that bad. Still getting through the door. <sighs> I kind of already forgot about Blake, to be completely honest. Because on these easier nights, Blake doesn't show up until like night three, so. <laughs> it is still slightly harder. This is like night two, but with the addition of Blake. Yeah, they're still stuck in the door. Wonderful. <laughs> Maybe we can call this one Turtle Speed Plus. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, they're finally through the door. I think I get the whatever statue of. I already got saffron. The other one was called. I forget. Okay, they're still in there. <laughs> night two, except it's night two. <laughs> I can take that. I can just imagine they actually. <laughs> Made a meme out of it, and they just made the text so long in this box that it didn't even fit. Okay, they're finally crawling around in here. <laughs> Wonderful. Is there actually any point to this? Like, other than just seeing them about to murder you? Like, seriously. I think I get this squirrel next if I complete this. He's on the other side of the camera, and it's really annoying. Like, I know he's there, I just can't see him. Yeah, two hours sour, not too bad. I'm only going because I still seem to have time, and these nights really aren't that hard. So... I'll probably leave, depending on what happens, in a little bit. I may or may not do 15, 15, 15, but I'm definitely probably going to save 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> There's only four characters, so it's just 420, like the original FNAF. 
Oh, I actually, I actually got through it, you know. Still not exactly worried, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, he didn't even, I thought he got a piece, but I guess he didn't. I guess I'm just that good. It's 2 a.m. already. Badger. Green. Okie dokie. But get enough of these wacky collectible statues I can be vibing, you know? Imagine going back to a pizzeria that's haunted just so you can get weird looking versions of statues of the animatronics that almost murdered you only three more hours yippee So, uh, does anyone want to give their opinion on the lore? Because I really don't know what else to say about it. Honestly. Haven't you found anything weird about at all about your character? Yeah, he says I could be his friend. It says something about Fritz. I'm not sure I really caught on to that too much, though. I mean, I think my character is weird for showing up <laughs> to a murder pizzeria for six nights in a row. Plus more, if this technically counts towards the lore. Are they already through? I'm surprised they're actually moving decently fast. I'd be really surprised if I die. See, he still hasn't even gotten one part yet, has he? <laughs> no, he has not. So I just really gotta watch the squirrels. Also, I could just hear the wailing of ghosts in the background. In the end of the most FNAF games or fan games. Oh, yeah. I didn't get a payment, did I? Am I am I actually working for free? <laughs> I made that joke, but I don't actually know that I'm getting paid. That's a really good point. I... I don't know. I just... I mean, it's not payment screens, it's just an end screen and... mini games that tell lore, I guess. Okay, only one more hour, and then we get another weird statue, I think.
Did he actually get a part? He might have. Never, never mind. So I don't think he did. <laughs> Character doesn't manifest himself. Like if he's in a phone call with someone, he would answer questions. Yeah, that, that is weird. Wait, I'm not one of the animatronics, am I? That doesn't make sense. Because he said the animatronics work the place, but that just doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay, time for another statue. Well, the phone guy doesn't find it weird, and he can trash talk to you anything he wants. He knows why. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. Yeah, I I did have a bit of a suspicion as to who we were playing as while I was doing it. Okay, let's see what we got. Yep, another wacky statue. <laughs> let's try modern. We can get the badger statue. So this one's going to be kind of hard, I'm probably going to have to try a bit on this one. And then I might do 15. It is kind of nice that there's no phone calls. Does this, if this doesn't reduce my panic, seriously, what is the point of looking up there? This one's gonna be kind of difficult. I mean, I know why, but I don't think it's fair for me to just tell you. Well, I mean, I don't know how much effort I'm gonna put into trying to figure it out, so if you really want to, it's fine, but I don't know. Well, I mean, to be fair, since bad time, you always seem to know <laughs> about this stuff, so. I'm not surprised by any means. Is he on the right again? That's so annoying. Of course he is. At least I probably shouldn't have to deal with the weird crow head thing until the next night. At least I don't think I do. Uh, badger. Yellow. Oh, 
Oh shoot. I can probably still get him. Yeah, there we go. the guy sitting in <laughs> chair I don't know I'm guessing it's a swivel chair you know like I I'm sitting in a chair I can turn around like 360 you know I've got one of those swivel chairs I, I don't think the chair is that weird but no. Yeah, because it kind of looks like the one right there. It's just one of those uh, swivel chairs. I'm sure there's a point you're trying to make here, but... Also, why are you doing look up when you're facing forward? Ah. You know, I figured it was a game mechanic thing, but... <laughs> That is also interesting. Yeah, I, I guess technically shouldn't I be able to look at the vent while looking backwards too? That is a pretty fair point. Yeah, you're, you're uncovering some deep lore here, man. <laughs> this is just stuff that I don't think about because I'm so busy playing the game. It, it literally just doesn't cross my mind at all. I mean, this guy sits in a, in a chair for like six hours straight, turning on vent lasers. I think I'm more questionable about the vent lasers than anything. go to bed tonight I'll just hear the faint sounds of computer clicks <laughs> and stone crow's horrible face Custom night, so why don't you have a fan by your side for six hours at the middle of the goddamn night? That is also a very valid point. I think that'd give you a really bad crick in the neck, actually. What color did you want? I still can't see it. What color did you want? I still can't see it. What color did you want? <laughs> Man, that is really bothersome. Can you please get off my screen? He might have got that. I don't know. I took so long <laughs> on the Simon Says thing. Words on the signs that stone holds that the cameras are very interesting. Yeah, they don't exactly.
be fair, the words on the side seem more like uh, warnings to scare me away than really anything. It's 5 a.m. already, just about done. <laughs> you must panic, he's lying. Wait. Gemstone wants me to reveal the truth. Do the signs reveal the truth? But why would the phone guy lie? Gosh darn it. What does the bird know that I don't know? And why is he so darn creepy? Oh, I think he finally got a part. <laughs> I messed up. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's already 5 a.m. Who cares at this point? Maybe I can wink at him on his way over the table. <laughs> Can I honk his nose? I can't honk his nose. That'd be weird. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll get a better look at the signs on the harder nights anyway. Okay, let's, so we got Badger's trophy thing, I guess. It's always the same wacky music. Different colors. Okay, let's have a look, see. So we've got this one, this one, and this one now. So difficult, impossible, and then one, two, three, four, four more secrets I don't even know about. Like, I'll try difficult, I don't know if I'm gonna do it now. I mean, I've already beat night six, so I assume that's maybe even easier than night six. Custom. I'll give it, I'll give it my best try. Two and a half hour stream. Yeah, they're gonna be kind of fast this time. Still the good night. Impossible is gonna say something, it's got to. It's gonna be like bad night or something. Yeah, this is like night five, I think. Not too bad. in the vents. Oh, I just got it. Never mind. Okay. He's got one. That's still not too bad. Wonderful. Alright, that was the wrong one. I already forgot they got past. Gosh darn it. I can probably still catch them. There we go. Yeah, so he's already on the move. There are 
already there apparently. I just gotta be better about the squirrels. I'm back. My ethernet had to restart. Well, at least it's better now, I guess. I'm just doing difficult night now, which is 15, 4, 15 or whatever. So kind of hard, but not insanely difficult. Should be able to get it. feel comfortable staring at stone too long before he does that weird head thing. I still don't understand what on earth is good about this night. Yeah, that was the right one. <sighs> Boy. Yeah, there he is. Big Papa Weasel Boy. <laughs> about three more hours. Not bad. 
back quite yet. Imagine Blake will be back one more time. Yeah, there he is. Okay, still got him. Nice. Almost messed that up. Oh shoot, they're through. Okay. Okay, they got through. And he's got another part. Okay. That's fine. This watch guard reminds me a lot of the guy from the song version of the FNAF, <laughs> the FNAF one, where he just does stay calm, I think it's called. Because even when the murder animatronics are looking at you, you just gotta stay calm. I think that especially fits considering this one involves, um, you know, a panic bar. <laughs> I think it's rather convenient that both the squirrels, um, are in the same location all the time, that's, that's nice. <laughs> One hour, should be able to complete this any second now. I gotta get Blake one more time and then we're done. Okay, there we go. Okay. So I believe we got the Pop Goes statue now. Okay, now the real question is, can I get Insane Knight? I guess I'll try now, but I don't know. Ooh, it's gold. I'm guessing this has got to be Gem Crow, right? Let's just see how crazy this is. Yeah, I can't go any further. This is as hard as the game gets. I just want to see how bad it is. I'm... There's a chance I'll get it, but I doubt it. Yeah, I feel like my panic raises faster on these nights, or on this difficulty too. I, I don't know, but it certainly feels like it. do that fast enough. Holy. Sir, I don't think there's enough snacks in the world to undo what just happened. Yeah, this is the goodbye night. Holy cow.
Wow. So you have to do the badger almost immediately. Jeez. I kind of want to give that one more try. Oh my god. That was instant kill, man. Yeah, so it seems like the only thing that's too different from before is that the badger is ridiculous. I'm guessing the crow's gonna start doing that weird head, there it is, head thing. Got it. They're already in the vents and red. Yeah, that that goes down so fast. I already know that Pop Goes has a part, so I have some time before he gets. Oh, never mind. I don't have any time. I don't mind him getting another part if I could just lower my panic bar for Pete's sake. Can't get two seconds. Yeah, this is definitely harder than night six. Where is he? That's the question. I haven't s I have not seen him at all. Oh my god. This is insane. This is literally insane. I can't stop Pop Goes and it's- I don't know. I can't- f there it went. Oh god. I tried. Okay, he's there. Okay, I'm getting a grip. Man, this is insane. Well, he only has two. That's not as bad as I thought. I just gotta pay attention to the squirrels. Did he get one already? <sighs> oh god, yellow. I 
think he already got that. It's fine. to the right. If I could keep them both in the same place, that'd be great. Colors that I can't see. I'm I'm dead. guys I think I'm gonna save this one for next week because that I'm just gonna need to prepare myself mentally jeez if I could have got the color there I just the panic bar was too high I don't know I did better than I thought I would though I made it to about three it's not so bad so um yeah thank everyone so much for showing up Thank you for leaving like if you did. Yeah, great progress. I, th I think I'm almost done with the game. I am I know there's a few more bars that I don't even know how to unlock, but as far as I know, this is the last thing I need to do, so. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave like. Again, thank you to those who already did. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm trying to try and finish this night on the usual time on Saturday, so. As always, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and have